Hi everyone. I got a very special box here from Canada. Uh, Colin, a long time viewer of both of my channels, insisted on sending me some Canadian snacks and uh, candies and other treats. And uh, uh, from the size of this box he went all out. I, I told him <laughs> don't spend too much. <clears throat> but uh, he spent an arm and a leg uh, just on shipping. Uh, I don't even know what's inside here. I'm doing totally a blind unboxing here. But uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to seeing what's in there. I believe some of this uh, very hefty weight is uh, padding and uh, insulation. You know, uh, for example, chocolate can freeze uh, when it goes from overseas especially it's get it gets really cold there in the plane so uh, hopefully some insulation has kept uh, uh, whatever chocolate is in here uh, intact but uh, yeah like i said let's uh, let's see what's inside here second box and some styrofoam <laughs> yeah he wasn't kidding about packing it well this feels like I'm opening some valuable special edition of a very fragile game since watching your video games from Finland video on your video games channel because of your channel I've actually slowly purchased some complete inbox Nintendo 64 games as well as started attending some smash for Wii U local tournaments thanks for reigniting my passion from when I was a kid very welcome Colin and I it's really nice to hear uh, it was a little difficult finding Canadian specific snacks because the majority of snacks in Canada are actually American. Uh, but I was able to put together a pretty good list of Canadian snacks below. Also because I couldn't find too many Canadian salty snacks I included a couple large bags, bags of our chips so that you can munch on them in between all the sweet snacks if you need a break from them. <laughs> yeah, he's been uh, uh, paying, the, paying attention when I say it's uh, always refreshing to have something salty. Here's a short summary of what the snacks are. Um, Ruffles, all dressed chips, Canadian flavor chip, uh, Canadian chip flavor that has multiple flavors on every chip. Sounds good. Uh, Lace ketchup chips, another Canadian chip flavor. Chip flavor. It kind of sounds gross, but it's good uh, once you get used to it. Yeah, uh, ketchup. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a nice, uh, intense tomatoy flavor. I, I like ketchup chips. Then Canada Dry Diet Ginger Ale. Canadian Diet Ginger Ale, which I believe uh, you've had in a previous video. Sorry about the sticker on it. The only way I could purchase an individual can was by buying a chicken finger combo meal from my local grocery store. Yeah, Canadian Dry is my favorite. Uh, uh, you know, ginger ale. Um, ginger ale in particular is my favorite uh, soda. 
but uh, I can't get any diet version of it uh, here in Finland. Actually, we do have the regular Canada Dry now in one outlet, but even they don't carry the ginger, uh, diet version. So I asked Colin to put in a diet version here. Really great. And then uh, A and W root beer, a Canadian root beer classic. Dare chocolate fudge cookies, pretty self-explanatory, delicious chocolate cookies that all kids love. Viva Puffs, a marshmallow cookie with a jam in the middle. LB maple candies, these are 100% pure Canadian maple syrup. They're very hard, so careful eating them. Okay. And then uh, La Bonte, 100% Canadian maple syrup. As per your request, we uh, emailed some uh, a couple of times before he sent this. I've included 100% pure Canadian maple syrup. This tastes like liquid gold. Uh, just Louis cakes. Uh, if one of these were in your lunch bag in school, it was a good day. And then uh, craft dinner. It doesn't really get more Canadian than this. This is a Canadian staple. Some people enjoy it with some ketchup. It's not really a snack because it takes a few minutes to prepare. It's more like a quick lunch or dinner that all Canadians have grown up on. Maybe if you're all lucky you could do an ASMR video eating it. And then various Canadian chocolate snacks. I think you'd enjoy. So yeah, link the letter here. And uh, I guess, uh, well, let's just see what we have here. Here's the ruffles. Supreme fondant or chocolat. Oh, sorry about that sound. And the uh, ketchup chips. Uh, Aero. Smarties. Caramel. Crunchy. Coffee crisp. Actually, coffee crisp uh, is funny to taste this uh, when um, Sassy Snacks did uh, a poutine video. Uh, she uh, included uh, some random. Uh, uh, Canadian chocolate that she found and it was coffee crisp. <laughs> and we have the uh, NW root beer. Oh, two cans of it. And the uh, maple treat candies. <laughs> Way to try those. And then Maltesers. Mr. Big. Oh, these look good. Uh, Viva Puffs. Have you even heard of those? Actually, a lot of art here that I haven't even heard of. So, really good stuff. Uh, Jersey milk and uh, looks like here we have a glass bottle of uh, the maple syrup. Really, really uh, happy to be able to try this. And uh, then we have a couple of cans of the uh, Canada Dry. And uh, two boxes of the uh, Craft Dinner. So this is like, uh, uh, like macaroni and cheese. I, I think it is. Something along that, that line. Yeah, really happy to try this out. Uh, 
you know, something like this you always see in the movies. We don't have, or well, I, I, I guess these days we have something similar to this, but uh, especially the craft, uh, uh, craft dinner uh, in particular. It's something that we see in the movies, and uh, uh, as such, it's it's really fun to be able to taste it. And finally, is this Joss Louis, Louis or Joe's Louis? Not sure, but it looks delicious. <laughs> Huge box of these. And uh, that's it for the package. Uh, thanks a lot, Colin. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna get everything set up here on a table and we'll start tasting out these. And here we go. Can't possibly fit this into the picture at one time, so uh, let's uh, make some room here. I think I'll try to make a mad dash with all these uh, chocolates, uh, maybe all the chocolate bars first, and, uh, and then I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, cleanse my palate with uh, some chips after that. And uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, since these are, these are uh, the thing that I specifically asked for, I, I think I'm gonna be saving these for a special time, uh, you know, chill these out and have some ice with them and all that, so let's put these out of the way and uh, open one of these root beers. Uh, I think I've tasted root beer once. Not uh, not uh, super uh, into it, but uh, yeah, happy to give this a go. Love this small little can here. But first, I, I think I'm gonna be starting out here with the uh, maple syrup. Yeah, I showed this to my girlfriend and she was really excited as well. I think I, I can get her to make some pancakes for me. So let's see. It's the good stuff. Really good. So yeah, it says here, dark, robust taste. So not just your average um, sugary uh, stuff that you can throw on your uh, pancakes, but uh, the real deal from Canada. Really appreciate this. Good stuff. But uh, yeah, let's start out here with uh, Mr. Big. So uh, looks like we have some peanuts and uh, maybe rice krispies in there. Delicious. Maybe the coffee crisp next. I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm actually not a coffee drinker, and uh, therefore don't uh, like that much uh, uh, coffee-flavored candies. But in, in in chocolate, it 
not too much. It uh, can be good. Really nice texture. I love it. It's this big and chunky bar. Mm. Yeah, really good. So that one was from Cadbury and this is from Nestle. And uh, here's another Cadbury one. Sponge toffee. That sounds good. Wasn't, uh, wasn't what I was e expecting at all when it says sponge, but it's uh, really hard inside. But um, I guess it comes from the uh, you know the tiny bubbles. It sort of looks like a sponge, even though it doesn't feel like it. Yeah, really nice. Uh, is this honey here? Like, kind of like, feels like uh, or tastes like it's uh, honey. Mm. Yeah, really good. Maybe a taste of root beer. Interesting. I wonder how this, of course, you know, root beer is uh, one of those things that you can see on American or Canadian movies. <coughs> but uh, we don't get that here in Finland. But uh, I'd say this is, uh, you know, a bit of an acquired taste, kind of like Dr. Pepper or something like that. It's, uh, uh, it's kind of like when I, when I taste uh, Dr. Pepper, I, I, I kind of don't like it but after a while it's like i wonder wonder what that dr pepper tasted like i gotta get me one of those so even though you kind of don't like it it still leaves you with a craving so that uh that's uh, that's what uh what reminds me here yeah it's good of course smarties we do have these over here in Finland as well, but uh, let's uh, see how they sound like. Did I open this wrong or something? Interesting packaging here. With oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, it looks like there's uh, an. Uh, uh, little compartments, you know, you can open them like here, make them last. Uh, no, I didn't. I opened it from the wrong end and everything is ruined.
So, um, is Nestle originally from Canada? I didn't know. Or correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, okay. Let's try one of these. Maple treat candies. A Canadian tradition. And the ingredients are pure maple syrup and glucose. So, uh, not much else. Really nice natural flavor. I have to try and you know let one dissolve later on, but for the purposes of the video I gotta <laughs> eat one right away. sticky <laughs> in the end yeah, this was a nice treat really good okay maybe it's time to have something salty like all the chocolates uh, made the, uh, the trip well over here but I think this uh, this uh, <laughs> bag of chips uh, had been through some tough times that back to the chocolates so 
some cookies with a chocolate fondant in the middle. Nice and soft. With well, um, lots of filling. Oh my, I'm gonna be so fat after I finish all of this. <laughs> Luckily, I do have two helping mouths here in my household. Mm. Yeah, these are actually kind of surprising. Uh, you know, the ultimate fudge chocolate. These were actually not that sweet. Uh, really, really good. But uh, I, I thought they would have been, you know, overly sweet. But that was not the case. <coughs> Teasers. Mars, Canada. What's that in the middle? It's like meringue. It does say may contain egg, but you know meringue is made from eggs almost uh, exclusively egg and sugar. Yeah, they, you know, taste like meringue and the same mouth feel. Maybe one of these. Um, these kind of look like similar, you know, these uh, cake kind of products. So let's try one of these now. This is from the uh, same manufacturer as the uh, Ultimate Fudge. And the uh, same kind of uh, tray here as well. soft <laughs> mm. Yeah, fun 
lovely little cakes. So much yummy stuff. I've had an Aero before, but I'm not not a white chocolate one. the bubbles. chocolate you know everything is just really great maybe I should uh, <laughs> should stop you know telling uh, how sweet or anything is or if it is, if it's good or anything because everything is good um, I got a little a little bit left here for my root beer but I think I'm gonna save this uh, for my girlfriend she'll want to taste it as well so uh, Let's open one of these Canada Dries as well. Still got another one uh, saved for special occasions. Sorry if that was too loud. Ah, oh, that's the good stuff. So we got three uh, chocolates left. So um, let's take some chips here. Simulated flavor. Canada's very own. You'll enjoy this bag of uh, Ruffles All Dressed Chips if. Excuse me. You enjoy unique Canadian food. It was invented here after all. You're seeking something sweet and salty and savory all in one bag. And three, you love eating chips that will make your taste buds feel like they are going to explode. So now, are there three different kind of chips inside the same bag? I wasn't quite sure. These are really tasty chips.
nice spices with a, maybe a dash of vinegar. Nielsen Jersey milk. I guess this is just a uh, straight up milk chocolate. No shenanigans. this oh it didn't quite work like I figured <laughs> it's just all over my finger <laughs> I'm gonna eat it
you know, save save this for my girlfriend. She's waiting downstairs and is uh, really anxious to try everything out. dinner packs here as well and uh, yes of course I gotta be making an eating video with one of these uh, this was uh, a, such a, such a generous package to send me so uh, of course I gotta gotta do this uh, second video from these and uh, I'm uh, in an epic sugar sugar rush at the moment um, even though I, I did try to uh, uh, take it kind of easy with the with the various uh, items here, I couldn't help it. I just uh, pretty full, <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was this was a wonderful package. I can't believe uh, how how generous. Uh, how generous um, some of my viewers are. I've received several really cool packages uh, along with the years and uh, this uh, is definitely one of those, uh, one of the best ones I've had. So thank you so much Colin for this. You really shouldn't have the go. Uh, <laughs> uh, go all out like this, but I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.